awesome, isn't it? It's so awesome. No, it's not really. I mean, it's not so exciting. It is, you know, a name change for now, and we don't know what to come. <laughs> Because Google just announced introducing Google Workspace. So what is it? I'm using G Suite for a long time already for myself, in my team and so on. And why? Because it is the best integration with other tools. And Google Workspace is just a rebranding of G Suite. It makes it easy for me to pronounce it now. Google Workspace sounds better. And the promise I see behind Google Workspace already says the rebranding as well, because it sounds more like they're bringing their tools together to work with each other in a better way in one space or place, which is our team, our company and all this. G Suite sounds more like a collection of tools and this is what it was in the beginning. It was a separated collection of tools that we had there starting with Gmail, Google Calendar and all this. Then they started to integrate these tools with each other. And then they made their first test with test drives with Google Keep, where you first time were able to add some to do's there. And with Google Tasks, they already introduced a way that you can manage your tasks across Gmail and Google Calendar and so on. Along with this, we have Hangouts that we are using, which is now Google Meet. And, and as it looks like, they are now stepping up the game, like Microsoft Teams, where they also bring these things together. Google is doing this now as well. And I'm really excited about this. Will it replace all my tools I use, like Miro, Notion, and so on? I doubt it. Um, but let's have a look into what they're actually promising. And it looks like there's not much yet to see. So you see it is a really new announcement they made here. And over a decade, uh, they're building on these products and now they want to try to bring it together. That's great. And they have an awesome trailer, which is not as awesome because it's not telling much, but it is awesome looking at it, watching it. Let's let's go through this. So they really want to make a deeply integrated user experience, a new brand identity, new ways to get started. Well, new brand identity, Evernote, we saw how this worked out, um, but I, I think they will go, go from there. It's always good to have a defined vision you're working on, so you really know where it's going and why you integrate these tools and what is the big picture and so on. So that's really what I'm looking forward to here. And if you're following this channel and if you're part of my inner circle, maybe then you know that I'm all about an end to end solution, end to end productivity system. Too many people talk only about one part of the whole system, actually knowledge management, note taking, productivity, task management and so on. And, and my ultimate goal here is really building up the end to end solution. So for myself, I have a system where I have no taking, I have knowledge management and this knowledge management should be leveraged to actually get things done, which is the actual productivity part when you actually produce stuff isn't it? Which is then the task management. And we have also a, a refining part where we go back and optimize our workflows, automate workflows and so on. And Google was always helpful for me using it in this ecosystem that I have there because it integrates so well with all the other tools. If you watched one of my previous videos where I show you how I integrate Todoist with my Google Calendar to have a two way synchronization, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if they really deliver what they are talking about here, this might be come to um, ecosystem in itself to del that delivers you all the, all the tools that you really need to get things done. And a big missing part there is really project management. And just in another video, I just showed you about the announcement from Google tables and my hands on video looking at it. It was pretty disappointing at this point, but it was a very early better version that I tested there. But this might be one essential part coming also to Google Workspace. It's just an assumption I do there, but it would just make sense to get something like Google Tables in there as well to actually build up databases inside G Sheet or Google Tables and leverage it on this. And what I see here, for example, is that you can now integrate names into your G Docs 
okay? So you can mention somebody in a G-Doc and it will just show you the people there and now it's linked to the G -Sheet, to the G-Doc. Uh, I think it also works in G-Sheets, not sure about that. Yeah, G-Docs, G-Sheets and, sli and slides. And I'm really hoping here that's not, you know, we already were able to mention people by adding comments, for example, into the documents. However, I'm really hoping that they now step up their game and also do something like the neural network uh, knowledge management basis and so on that we can build with Notion and Rome research and so on to really build our second brain. And this would be really the second brain for companies where you can build up the knowledge management automatically by just mentioning these people in GDoc. And when I go to this person, I see a list of uh, documents they are related to. This would be awesome. This would be really useful then, because right now, not sure if this is, um, a lot of help as that what we see here if you have questions you know maybe that's a, a SOP or something like this you can mention a person in here and people can directly contact this person so that's a, a good thing and you see, also see for the documents you have a preview you don't need to open a new tab and so on all nice and so on but I'm really more interested in the back end to get the things really connected. So let's say I go to Janice here and on their profile and I see all the documents she's connected to. And so let's see if this is then possible. Otherwise, we still have disconnected information all over the place and that's really hurting efficiency. No matter if they, told, if they tell you, you have one step less to open a tab, you have a preview now, okay, fine. But if I still need to find information and search for it, even that Google offers a great search engine across all their apps already, this is not uh, the ultimate solution, I would say. So we really would have a really tight integration of these different document types and all this. Okay, and another feature they just added is that, um, or they will add over the new next month they mentioned. It's not available yet. I checked it out on my account. It's still the old logos. Uh, there's nothing updated yet there. So, um, and they mentioned here, it will become available over the next month. However, what we see here, you now, collaborating in these um, documents, for example, and you have the option now to bring in um, a video chat. That's nice. I think it's always better to, if you are already working together on a document that you are on a call. Obviously, you could do this by being on Zoom or on Hangouts or, or Google Meet um, and then sharing the screen and so on. But like in Miro, the, uh, another software solution that I'm recommending on my channel for brainstorming um, creative collaboration work, actually, they have something like this as well. You can just bring people into your board, the, the, the board you're working on, and then do collaborative stuff there. And obviously here you have the same option now to do this as well. And I always like to see where the people actually are on what page they are looking at right now. That was already useful before that. So they're just mentioning that now you can use Chromecast and all this, that's something else. And now new brand identity after 10 years, they upgrade this and I must say, I really like the, the set of the logos. Um, it's a bit playful, I would say. It's it's not as serious, as businessy as I, you would expect from a real productivity system, but does it need to be? I mean, look into my office. I'm a productivity coach, but you know, I still want to live and be <laughs> normal, I would say. Also, I'm not that normal, I guess. But yeah, looking into this, it is, it, you know, it makes fun to use this stuff and I, I'm, I have nothing against this and um, they using their logos and make them really, that's the thing you just see exactly that's Gmail or not. They just make this more obvious than before, than it was already before. Okay, so I'm sure that a lot of work went into this and if, you, if you're a designer, you know exactly what went into this to, to that. Each icon really has its purpose and maybe we can talk about this in a different video. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. Surely we can talk about design choices here if you really want to learn more about the branding. 
a new ways to get started. That's really the big thing they're telling here. And I'm not war I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure they're already doing a great job when you when they onboard you onto their tools. You have already an interactive tutorial to use their tools and all this. That works really great already. Um, let's see if you really need this. And um, be ensured, I will dive deeper into this as it's my personal interest to learn more about this, to see if my own team can actually work much more in Google only workspace, I would say. Um, not sure if it will, will ever replace tools like Notion or, or other things. However, I can tell you that the most important thing is that tools like Notion or Roam Research, they really have to implement their APIs. They need to provide direct connections to tools like Google. Google is very open. You can you have so many API things, which means connections from other tools into Google. Um, as the example, as I mentioned in the beginning for Todoist, this is a two-way synchronization. As soon as I create a task in Todoist, an event gets created on Google Calendar and vice versa. If I change anything on the Google Calendar, Todoist will get updated. This is what we need. This is what you can leverage on other tools as well. And I think it's much more likely that people will use these tools if they're able to integrate them into their own ecosystem. That's what I'm training in my Inner Circle membership. I will show you ways how you have end-to-end -end solutions to have the information only on one place, but you can leverage from it over all your different tools that you use. I think it's nothing worse that you can do for your efficiency and ultimately to your productivity if you have duplicated information. But that's going too deep today. If you want to learn more, make sure you join my Inner Circle. If you're already an Inner Circle member, hi. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, tell your friends about this update if you haven't already. I'll catch you up next time.